This is a solenoid engine that I have just completed. I built it from scratch. Uh, it was really a lot of fun building because I just made it uh, uh, one part uh, to fit another part to fit uh, a subsequent part and ended up uh, with this engine. Uh, it has a solenoid in it and this is their solenoid is located in this brass enclosure here. The switch is located in this brass box and it rubs up against a uh, cam to turn the switch on and off. And you can set this to uh, run uh, various speeds and it will really run uh, quite slow uh, when it's uh, set at the, at the lowest. Uh, I built it to look like, uh, or tried to build it to look like uh, a regular engine. This being uh, a phony exhaust and this being uh, the uh, rocker arm for what would be the uh, valves. Uh, this is built to look like a spark plug uh, and this wire actually goes in and provides the electricity to operate the solenoid. This is built to look like uh, a small carburetor and of course it would have a gas line. These are the switches that I use to turn it on and off. Uh, one uh, switch to turn it on batteries, the other one to turn it on AC if I want to put it on AC. And this is a charging uh, port here. I'll uh, turn it on around and show you the inside. Let me turn the engine off. This is the inside and this is the solenoid batteries, 18 volts that I took from an old uh, cordless drill and this device here is from a printer. Uh, it will provide uh, enough volts for it to run if I wanted to plug it into AC but I found that just on the batteries alone uh, it will run uh, about five and a half hours on one charge. This is my solenoid engine and I am uh, Joe Newberry and thank you for watching.